As president and CEO of Horseman, a company founded by educators for educators, I'm proud to honor the five recipients of the Horseman Awards for Teaching Excellence. With three sisters, three nieces, and now potentially my daughter being teachers, I know some of the challenges they face in the classroom, and I hear about the rewards that make it all worth it. Teaching is more than a job. It's a higher calling and a critical role in our society. Teachers mold our future, and for these five finalists and many other teachers, the job isn't confined to the classroom. Teachers pick their students up when they're down, give gentle guidance in the right direction, help them find their strength and overcome their weaknesses. They build teaching teams and inspire some of their own students to hear the call to the profession. And it is a noble profession that is frequently underappreciated. At Horace Mann, our mission is protecting the short-term risks and securing the long-term financial future of educators. And we make recognizing teachers a part of what we do. For more than a decade, Horace Mann has sponsored the NEA Foundation Awards for Teaching Excellence because we know how important and deserving it is to shine a light on outstanding teachers who make a difference in their students' lives and who continue to elevate the role. So please join me in congratulating and honoring five individuals who have been singled out by their peers for going above and beyond and becoming this year's Horace Mann Award recipients. Samuel! What's black and white and red all over? <sighs> A newspaper. What do you call fish with no eyes? I don't know. What makes a good riddle? Hmm. Mrs. Riddle is an awesome teacher here at Foxborough Elementary School in North Salt Lake, Utah. I think Mrs. Riddle is a kind of a teacher who cares about individual students. She expects that you learn and that you do hard work. Fun, but not necessarily easy, huh? It's hard stuff. Yeah, you're learning because she respects you enough to do that. Okay, a good riddle makes you think. I think her ability to make each student feel like an individual and feel loved and cherished and unique. She's so good at it. She can hone in on what the kid needs and find a way to make that blossom. And a good riddle challenges your brain. Well, Miss Riddle is constantly taking classes. For example, a couple years ago she took a reaction time class and now we use all those experiments that she learned in our classrooms today. The floating raisins activity is actually one of the things we did in that class. So I'm constantly learning because she's still learning too. It should be funny and it should connect with everyone. She's a leader in the community, she's a teacher of teachers, and she's active in her association. You'll find her a lot of places. You'll find her on Capitol Hill, of course at her school and in her classroom. You'll find her at meetings where teachers are learning. She does a lot of classroom management, um, procedural type, professional development workshops. The two of us did one together in uh, last month for new teachers and the reception for that was fantastic and the feedback from that was we want more of this. I got it, I got it! I got it, I got it, I got it! Uh, okay, what? What's the best riddle? <sighs> I don't know. This one! Awesome! <laughs> I would hope that every child that leaves my class, if they came back, they would tell me, I remember that I was part of your team, and I learned a lot, and I had fun doing it, and the whole class got along well and had a good time.